Welcome back to NBA Cinema, man. We got to talk about Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Now, we saw Draymond Green get into it with Patty Mills. Was it last night or the night before that? And now Draymond has been ejected out the Orlando Magic game in the first quarter, not being able to control his temper, watch his mouth, and just let things go. You have to look at the bigger picture. You know, y'all fighting for a play-in at this point. You know, that, that would be your best bet. Try to position yourself as best as you can to have the best matchup you can because likely you'll have to win two games to get into the playoffs. So, you know, you playing a playoff or, you know, an Eastern Conference playoff opponent, that's a pivotal game for you guys. But Draymond goes on, talks, 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 and gets ejected. And Steph Curry... His anger towards this is starting to show on his face, and he's really not able to hide it. Let's check that out. So again, this has been what people's talking about as far as Steph Curry's voice and has he really ever been a leader and has he been able to reel Draymond in? And yes, Draymond is the vocal leader and stuff of the team, but the best player sometimes has to pull rank when needed. You know, and Steph Curry has been that to the organization for so long. It's always good if your best player they ain't got to always be the vocal leader, but when they speak, everybody else should be able to fall in line. And this is a criticism of Steph that people's had. I know uh, Steve Kerr has gotten offended uh, when Stephen A. Smith said it. Some other people said it. And it's just a question. Maybe Steph does lead good, but looking at Draymond do this um, over and over again as if there is no backlash that's going to come from that. I'm talking about internally from uh, Clay. Or Steph, you know, that, I think that's problematic, man, because you got to be able to pull your guys to the side and have uncomfortable conversations. If this was Kobe Bryant, they would have been in fault by now. Now, Draymond is a little bigger than Steph. And, yes, I said a little bigger because Steph about 6'4", Draymond only 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Everybody talking like he's this big monster that people should be scared to talk to, man. Steph should have a conversation with him. Clay should be able to have a conversation with him and look him right in the eyes. You know, for Clay, he should be able to look him in the eyes and have a man-to-man -man with him. But, you know, Clay is going through his own things, too. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is it time to trade Draymond Green, or do you think – you know, the Warriors kind of have to hold on to him for the time being because it looks like this offseason, the emergence of Kaminga, you see this ain't going nowhere. It's time to play Trace Jackson Davis starters minutes. It's time to give some of these younger guys the opportunity to grow because that's the only thing that's going to keep Steph young enough where he ain't got to worry about injury or overexerting himself, you know, to um, – catapult the team to wins but let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe to next time peace